Hey everyone, welcome back again. In this short video, let us see relationship between load intensity, shear force and bending moment. To find this, first I am considering a simply supported beam AB subjected to general loading. Then in this beam, I am considering a small strip DX which is at a distance of X from the support A. Now, if I take this strip dx, I am having an uniformly distributed load acting on this strip. Let us consider the intensity of this load as W Newton per meter. If we consider this strip element as A, B, C, D, then we have both shear force and bending moment acting on this face AB and as well as on face CD. So for our convenience, I am taking this shear force which is acting on AB as F and the bending moment which is acting here as M. And in the same way, the place where CD which is at a distance of X plus DX, shear force, I am considering it like F plus DF and bending moment as M plus DM, a little change. Now let us consider the shear force and bending moment acting on this section CD. So according to the principle of equilibrium, summation of the shear forces acting at a section or summation of the moments acting at a section will be equal to zero. Now take that relation which is sigma v equal to 0 which is nothing but sum of the shear forces will be equal to 0. So now I am considering shear forces acting on the section CD. So from left hand side I am considering now from left hand side if I am considering shear force LUP which is left upward is positive and downward is negative. So first I am having force F which is acting downwards so minus F and then we are having load W Newton per meter which I converted into a point load that is nothing but W into length that is DX and it is also acting downwards so from left hand side acting downwards means minus W into DX then we are having shear force acting on CD that is acting upwards which is plus F plus DF that will be equal to 0. So if we see this one F and F got cancelled and we will have DF equal to W into DX where DF by dx will be equal to w which is nothing but the rate of change of shear force along the length will be equal to the load intensity. Now I am using the second condition that is summation of the moments will be equal to zero. So again I am considering the moments acting on the section cd which will be equal to zero. So from left hand side I am considering here again. So left hand side, if a moment is acting in clockwise direction, that is positive. And if a moment is acting in an anti-clockwise direction, that is negative. So from left hand side, I'm considering first M, which is acting in clockwise direction, that is a positive moment M. And the force F, which will cause moment on the section CD. So here force into distance, that is a DX. So, and it is causing an anti-clockwise moment. That's why minus F into DX. And here the load W into DX will cause moment at a distance of half of the DX. That is DX by 2. So, I am taking this one now, which is acting downwards means creating anti-clockwise moment so it is it will be equal to minus w into 
dx into dx by 2 and then we are having a movement m plus dm so from left hand side which is acting on cd and it is acting in anti clockwise direction which will be again equal to minus m into sorry minus m plus dm now if we see here m and minus m got cancelled and then since dx is very small i am neglecting this dx square value to zero then we left with minus f dx minus dm will be equal to zero which will give like dm by dx be equal to minus f so here rate of change of movement in the direction of length will give the shear force so if we simplify it we will get definitions like the rate of change of shear force along the length is equal to the intensity of loading and at the same time the rate of change of bending moment along the length of beam will give shear force so this is the relationship between load intensity shear force and bending moment thank you